Eunice of Korea, please, can you wave your hands? How many of us remember this? Okay, many of us might not remember. But when I start taking this testimony, you will. She's thanking God for healing of a swollen stomach. She's that 15-year-old girl. I think many of us understand it better now. This, these people are here live and direct in praise house. She's the 15-year-old girl that our sister, Godwin Queen, testified of how God healed her of ascites, that's accumulation of fluid in the abdomen. After she brought her picture to our gospel festival held in February 2022, According to them, when we intervened them, they said that issue resulted to a hole by the two sides of her waist. That that hole, you can pierce your hand through to touch the bones of the waist. It was so bad. He said the fluid accumulated so much in her abdomen that the kidney shifted from the normal position up to the chest. The intestine was enlarged. The small intestine was enlarged. Her leg was enlarged. Even while the doctors were trying to help her when they brought her to the hospital to take her to her hospital bed, the swollens on her leg started busting. It was as worse as that. But do you know the amazing part? We don't know how God preserved her abdomen. According to the nurse, she said if that her abdominal region busted first, she would have died. So how God left that area not to burst forth until that faithful day in gospel festival, which was her day of visitation is what we cannot explain. When Bishop Charles started ministering and declaring healing in the atmosphere, she quickly picked up her phone and texted, sent them an SMS and said, you are healed. And guess what? Not less than 24 hours after that test. The lady you're seeing on the screen with bloated stomach, this is her. <laughs> Praise house. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But we need to celebrate this Jesus better and better. Listen. Listen. I want you to appreciate this more. See. This young lady, this, the woman, when she was talking to me, she said she had to sell all her properties to remedy this child. What money could not do? What finances could not do? The mighty hand of God, not direct contact. He is the one that spoke in Jerusalem and he went to Capernaum to perform wonders. He spoke from Praise House and it went to FMC to discharge these ones without one naira. Praise House, if you are not ungrateful, lift up your hands to heaven and give Jesus a shout of praise. And there's many of you that are believing God for a testimony. You are here right now. As your amen come alive seven times with fire, be the next testifier. Come on. Come on. Oh my God, what a mighty God we serve, what a mighty God we serve. You see, since Bishop Charles Ajinasari left here, we've been having testimonies upon testimonies. How do you know when God visits his people? Since February, look at, look, can you see the, you see this, the, the one? Yes, sir. Media, can you show us the previous picture? Can you imagine the tongue? 15 years. She's 15, she's 15 years, years old. Years yes, old. Sir. She's 15 years old. Affliction does not know age. Now show us what God has done. Show us the next picture. One night encounter. Remember a woman during the administration of Bishop Charles came with her with the picture of the husband that couldn't walk and went to him and saw the husband walking. Our sister that was crippled 
God took away the two crutches and gave her a car. Oh my God. Praise us. Let's lift our hands. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the testimonies of this first service. We give you praise. Yes, we are conscious of time, but we are also conscious of returning the glory to you. So we came to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we praise. Let's give him, let's give it to him.